everybody, this is Beth Bond with Southeast Green. We're here at Georgia Tech with Steve Valk with the Citizens Climate Lobby. We've just seen a viewing of Chasing Ice. Um, tell us what you thought the response to the audience, because we had a conversation after the movie. Well, how did you think the response to the audience was? Well, uh, I, I think the audience was, it kind of got into a scientific uh, discussion uh, quite a bit, uh, you know, which was a, a little kind of academic, which if you're at Georgia Tech, you know, that's the kind of, kind of conversation you end up having is an academic conversation. Um, probably could have been a little bit more discussion about, you know, not so much a debate about, about climate change or climate science or anything like that, but, but, but more talking about, you know, given the fact that 97% of the people who do this research on, on climate agree what's happening, you, we shouldn't really you know, be having any, any, any kind of debate about that. What we should be really focused on is what are we going to do about it now? And from, from my standpoint, from Citizens Climate Lobby's standpoint, we need a huge economic incentive to move away from fossil fuels and bring about the, uh, the, the clean energy uh, revolution that needs to happen to, uh, to, to stop what, what's going on. And what needs to happen is for us to put a price on, on carbon, preferably with a, with a tax that gives the money back to, uh, to households so that they don't get hit financially. But that would send the price, it would basically fix the distortion in the marketplace that allows fossil fuels to uh, enjoy the advantage that they have over clean energy right now. If we just fix that distortion, and there's a lot of conservatives who say that, uh, you know, if we fix that distortion in, in the price of carbon, then we will gradually, uh, you know, fossil fuels will become more expensive than solar and wind and, and other clean technology and uh, you know, money talks. Uh, you know, the economics will, will move us toward the future that we need. Well, one of the interesting comments one of the professors said that, that the cheapest way for us to really do it is to turn off. And I do think we don't think about how much we waste in regards to electricity mm -hmm. and, and having this conversation. And converse, uh, the turning off does not mean suffering. Do you want to address a little bit how, how people confuse suffering with turning off the lights? Right, right, right. And so, uh, you know, a, a lot of, I, I think a lot of what drives the conversation, you know, about climate change is that people have this you know, fear that, oh, uh, you know, the, the, the government's going to tell me, you know, when I can, you know, turn my lights on or, or, or when, uh, what kind of car I should drive. No, these are, these are just simply choices that, that, that we have to make. And if we're given the economic incentive to, uh, to, to make the right choices, to, to be more energy efficient, to drive you know, cars that uh, are more fuel efficient, you know, if, you know, that would happen with a, with, with a tax on carbon. You know, people would have that, in, that incentive to, to be more, uh, you know, to turn the lights off. Uh, you know, it, it, it would be up to you. Great. Thanks so much.